do thrift stores exist? Do y'all do clearance? What's on the racks? Because you got to make it work. You don't need a closet full of clothes if it's that expensive. Y'all got I mean, that $3 deal out there in Singapore? $3 deal. What's good, y'all? It's the Demachettes React, and we're back, back with, with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today, we are back with another American yes. reaction. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell, because we're, we're on the road to 100K, 100K, and we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Wow. Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Singapore is a tiny country. So tiny, you can drive across the island in just an hour. Uh, what? Despite its size and lack of natural resources, Singapore's 5.6 million people enjoy one of the highest average incomes in the world. Ahead of countries like... 5.6 million people that you could drive across the... the, the... Yeah. Yo, what? Where everybody at? We're going we gonna to have to understand what, what this was about. What's this building in the back? I don't know. It looked like, <laughs> it looked like a piece of a highway. But a piece it, of a highway. You know how they have the highways oh, up in the oh, lands yeah, and the stuff yeah, underneath. Yeah. But again, no, I see trees up there. Yeah, what's that? That's different. Okay, the, why y'all so rich? Because I'm trying to see what y'all got. Germany, France, and Japan. So, how did this little island get so rich? Singapore doesn't have resources like coal or oil. But it does have something countries can't buy. Location. Wow. The island sits in the middle of an important trade route, connecting Asia to Europe. That's a key oh. reason why the British decided, back in 1819, to set up a colony in Singapore. Location isn't everything, though. There are several countries nearby that could have made use of their whereabouts, but they weren't quite as successful. That's because there are other ingredients that go into this crazy rich Singapore recipe. I'm at the Raffles Hotel, which is one of the most prominent icons of Singapore's colonial history. Unlike some of its neighbors, which wanted to separate themselves from their colonial histories, Singapore kept close ties with Britain, even after independence in 1965. That decision hmm. announced to the rest of the world that Singapore was open for business. That's important because we know now that exports help to grow and expand right. an economy. But back then, it wasn't conventional wisdom. Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and South Korea became known as the four Asian tigers, which have grown rapidly mm. since the 1960s. Oh, Their rise was fueled by exports, <clears throat> industrialization, and more crucially, big doses of government intervention. This was especially true for Singapore. Labor strikes were common on the island in the 1960s, even with high unemployment. On top of that, there was a housing crisis, with oh. Singapore being home to one of the largest slum settlements in the world. So how do you build a more disciplined labor force to attract investment? Well, you give them something to work for, like a house of their own, which is why one of the first Singapore government agencies set up was focused on building affordable public housing. Okay. While just 9% yeah. of the population lived in public housing in the 1960s, that figure stands at more than 80% today. Okay, and in greater good. employer rights, and strikes became extremely rare. At the same time, like the that. government attracted foreign investment through tax incentives. Growing the... Okay. So that was they, smart. Y'all, they went, they went on strike. They stood up for their rights. And now yeah. look at them. Yeah. That's, that's not that long ago. No, that's not. Um, I think that was smart, though. Mm -hmm. I think that was smart. I think that was very smart. Yeah. Economy and easing unemployment, which fell from an estimated 14% in 1959 to 4.5% in the 1970s. By the 1980s, Singapore was a regional manufacturing hub, and it was the world's biggest producer of hard disk drives. But today, manufacturing we makes up need only that. about 20% right. of Singapore's GDP. Take a look at Singapore's growth in GDP. You can see two big surges. One beginning in the late 80s and another at the start of the new millennium. Mm -hmm. Ironically, Singapore has a downturn to thank for that. 
You see, in 1985, Singapore went into its first post-independence recession, prompting the government to introduce new measures. State-owned companies like telecommunications were privatized to make them more competitive. Then, at the turn of the century, service industries like finance and insurance were further liberalized. That openness helped to grow the share of services from just 24% of GDP in 1985 to more than 70% in 2017. Multinational companies began to set up regional headquarters in Singapore. That attracted even bigger players, boosting mm -hmm. Singapore's attractiveness to corporates and in turn, its GDP. Now, Singapore is ranked as one of the world's easiest places to do business. Singapore has been praised for transforming itself from a developing to developed economy. But do most Singaporeans feel rich? Well, not exactly. Two of the most important reasons? The high cost of living and inequality. For five years in a row, Singapore has been named the world's most expensive city, ahead of yeah. New York and London. That's largely because of taxes on cars, making Singapore <coughs> the most expensive place in the world to buy and run an automobile. It's also the third most expensive place on earth to buy clothes. But personal My care, clothes. household goods, and domestic help in Singapore tend to be less expensive than in other major cities. While Singapore is rich in terms of GDP, how much Bro. is it to buy clothes? Yeah, like I think she just also said that it don't cost much to like for the restaurants and stuff, right? Did I hear that correctly? No, I, no. She just got on that. No, she made a comment. Let me hear one more time. But personal care, household goods, and domestic help in Singapore tend to be less expensive than. Okay, cool. I'll buy me a tank top and some shorts, you know what I'm saying? And i chill out. Let me go buy the things that I know I need. People mm -hmm. don't need to be spending a whole bunch of money on, like, clothing. Right. Wash it. Like, just wash it. <laughs> Twice a week. Really, though. But again, back to your question. How much is clothing? Like, are they selling yeah. litter just Gucci out there and stuff? Do thrift stores exist? Do y'all do clearance? Who's on the Cause, racks? Because... You gotta make it work. You don't need a closet full of clothes if it's that expensive. You don't got I mean, that three dollar deal like that in Singapore. Three dollar deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll put you on to some deals. Just holler at me. In other major cities. While Singapore is rich in terms of GDP per capita, the median monthly salary is three thousand two hundred and seventy dollars. That doesn't sound bad. too bad, mm. but about twenty percent of that goes into a oh, mandatory no, 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 no. Okay, savings okay, okay. account. You can use that account to pay for medical bills, oh, housing, yeah. and education. This is the place where they're mandated to have a savings account. Oh, yeah. The government makes them save their money. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, yeah. We, we're going to talk about that. Oh, yeah, that. I remember that. You know. But it does restrict the purchasing power of the population. You've probably heard of the movie Crazy Rich Asians, which was set here in Singapore. And it's no wonder because Singapore has about 184,000 millionaires making it truly the land of the crazy rich. That's great news, but Singapore also has a fairly high rate of inequality compared with other developed countries. Let's look at the Gini coefficient, which is a scale used to calculate inequality, with zero being the most equal and one being the least. Singapore's Gini coefficient, after accounting for taxes and transfers, was 0 0.356 in 2017. That was worse than countries like the United Kingdom, Japan, Korea, and Germany. Although it fared better than some, like the United States. Is that number really that bad? That question had books like this flying off the shelves. A think tank ignited public debate on the divide in social classes after it found that on average, Singaporeans who live in public housing have fewer than one friend who lives in private housing. The... the government has called the issue of inequality a national priority. But it remains to be seen if it is a problem that can be tackled effectively. Man, oh man. So at one point, Singapore did, um, like as they was, you know, coming up and making good changes in their lives, everybody was betting on them. Right. Basically, because right. they had something to offer right. that they knew the world was going to need. Right, but the people, the inequality of the people, like, that's why, yeah, it's good for the government to help in a lot of areas, but, like, public housing, like, you know, I want my private home. Mm -hmm. I want my private, you know, health care. I want, I want things that I can have control of, like... Detach me. Mm -hmm. Push me out the nest. Mm -hmm. I don't want to stay connected 
and feed off of what the government has to offer me for the rest for of my every life. every single thing. For every single yeah. thing. And then a, another thing is, this. Um, you are speaking about this earlier, that they have to have a set amount of money that they save, mm-hmm. I guess, per check or however that may yeah. go. My question is, do they, do they get to go into that money? Because right. they have a certain amount of percentage that they can spend or when it comes to... Or when do they get to go into it? Or is even it, when. Is so. it treated like how we have CDs? Mm-hmm. How we save up the money and we can't touch it? That sounds kind for of... For a certain right. amount of time? Like, how does that go? And how is the controlled spending for you guys? Like, I know you guys see things that you mm-hmm. like, but then you got the rich rich. I need do to Do they be. have to deal with that as well? Right. I need to be in control of my own money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, let me let me get it highly. <laughs> beautiful spot, Singapore is dope. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like how they operate and things is kind of questionable for us because we don't want people to say this is what you could do with your money when you can do with your money. This is how right. much money you gotta save. Right, this is right. how much money you can spend when you come outside. This is so that you can freely spend your money on, but you're capped out over here. It's like I don't know. But the thing is, like, there's a lot of good that we have um reacted to about singapore because oh, remember yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the country was like oh we going to singapore then they yeah, came yeah. back and they say no freedom of speech we said never mind right right <laughs> <sighs> yeah that's not even funny that's not funny <laughs> well for us you know we're gonna make yeah, laugh out yeah, of it but at the end of the day it's like nah we, we he he in because it's like i know we ain't about to like nah ain't gonna yeah. fly but we do have some singapore good. supporters who will be you know sharing things about their culture and we do appreciate it let us know how you're living how are you surviving there what do you love most about singapore because there's good in everything yes if you are a person who cannot find good in everything find good in everything that's all i gotta say yeah, got to look into it. That's something yeah. that shines in every little yeah. situation. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks. If you like, support the channel that way. As well as our join feature to become a VIP member of the channel. Check it out. Send in your reaction request through our description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.